run. What's going on guys, it's your boy GD Warrior today, finally, with the Cyclops Adventure Sports 10.0 Ultra H4 LED headlight bulb. Here you guys can see I'm standing right in front of my bike, how bright that light actually is. We got a uh, 10,000 lumens um, divided by four transmitters that makes it, or emitters that makes it actually 2,500 per emitter and I wanted to show you guys the comparison between the uh, uh, 10.0 original and the 10.0 ultra so there's two versions out there I think for $10 more you can get the ultra version if you don't want the ultra then you pay $10 less and get the original so what is the difference between these two um, the ultra fires on high beam uh, fires up all four emitters so you are blasting all 10,000 lumen on high beam on low beam everything is the same uh, it fires up the two transmitters uh, emitters I don't know why I'm saying transmitters emitters which are each 2500 so that's five five thousand lumens on the original and on the ultra so here you can see uh, the beaming p the beam pattern is actually pretty much the same and um, nothing has basically changed on the materials. Uh, I checked and compared both one more time. If you want to see exactly how the materials look like, uh, check my description down below. It's a whole unboxing video and comparison to the 7000 lumen bulb that I did previously. And right here you can see I have the low beam on. Uh, let's switch it to high beam so you guys can see um, how the high beam looks like so on the low beam I, I gotta say it's a nice white spread pattern over the whole street and on the high beam as you can see it's uh, more centered and it goes very 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 far you will see that in the um, on the route that we will be taking it in a little bit and um, I like this very much I adjusted the light a little bit more down compared to the previous video um, you should see a split screen soon once I start the bike and uh, we'll go for right I'll show you exactly how um, the high beam compares to the original this product here is from Cyclops Adventure Sports uh, thank you Cyclops so much for letting me review this uh, light bulb and uh, I would say let's go for a ride so you can see exactly how the difference is between the high beams and how it looks like when you fire it up uh, with four emitters and how it looks like when you fire it up with two emitters in, my, in the split screen that you guys will see here in a little bit so let's get started let's get the bike fired up <laughs> exact same route that we took previously and um, there is barely any lights out there so you will see how it would look like at night on the street with barely any lights or no lights out there now I wanted to point something out guys um, I see a lot of um, riders out there you know they, they put some brand new lights on their bikes and it's not adjusted correctly um, if you want to show off how your how your light um, fires up you know and how bright it is and blind other oncoming drivers and riders good for you but at the end you're just being a dickhead and um, you know you are actually a safety concern here on the road because um, people oncoming drivers I mean if I get blinded or you know at night by an oncoming driver I am I almost get road rage <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one out there who uh, gets road rage when he sees an oncoming driver with their headlights adjusted all the way up um, here you can tell um, on just a one lane street you know on the other side is another lane and uh, I see both lanes illuminated perfectly fine here right now we're entering a street where there is re not really any street light so uh, let me fire, on, uh, fire up the high beam right now see it looks pretty nice everything is nice nicely illuminated here is the low beam here is the high beam one more time low beam high beam 
pay pay attention to uh, to the street lights on the high beam, and um, <clears throat> when I'm on the high beam, it makes it really, 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 really bright. Um, for that money, yeah, let's slow down a little. I don't want to blind these people because this light's actually really bright. See, so now pay attention all the way there to the red light. You see that the, where the yellow lights are blinking? Boom! Head, uh, that's the high beam. I, it illuminates all the way the upper, um, you know, street signs and stuff. See, that's the low beam. Here is the high beam, low beam, high beam. So this thing is actually really, really, really bright. Let's go up to this street here. It's really dark on here. So this is still the low beam. Let's switch it up to high beam. Pay attention to all these uh, street signs over there. You know, when I switch it between low and high beam, they all illuminated. I can see everything nice and clear which, you know, provides uh, safety for myself, you know, you want to make sure that you are being seen without blinding people on the other side of the road and um, that you can see yourself and uh, I think Cyclops Adventure, Adventure Sports did a really, really, really great job with that, you know, look, look how light it is, yeah, yeah, you know what, I'm going to take you guys here to this little uh, street over there where it's also nice and dark so you can see yourself but I don't have any problems seeing anything on the road and I adjusted the light very 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 far down just so I can see you know if I turn on the um, the uh, high beam how far I can uh, how far I can see so, all right, I'm not blaming this guy. Boom. You see that? It's actually pretty far. I could probably adjust it a little bit more up front. But uh, to, for me, this is more than enough. said the, these lights for the original I pay 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 seventy dollars and um, for the ultra it's uh, around eighty bucks or so or eighty nine <clears throat> and um, it's definitely worth it I mean if you want don't want to spend four hundred dollars on a day maker or a, you know uh, one of these JBL speaker um, or JBW kind of I don't know I don't remember what they were called but if you don't want to spend four five hundred dollars on a brand new headlight just to get the same result um, the Cyclops Adventure Sports uh, H4 LED headlight bulb is definitely the way to go um, like I said if you want to see how well uh, built this light bulb is and what materials they use um, it is fan cooled so you don't have to worry about overheating with it bucket of the headlight or the headlight bucket um, so that's another nice feature those are very very high uh, quality emitters I think they're called cray emitters I don't remember the number anymore but as usual Cyclops Adventure Sports only uses high premium quality uh, bulbs and emitters and um, I started myself with one of the very first ones that was a 3800 lumen bulb, LED bulb, it was a great bulb. Then I, it was, I mean, I was so impressed that I went with the uh, with the 7000 lumen bulb. And um, after that, you know, I heard that they have the 10,000 lumen bulb. I, I had to have it, so I hit up Cyclops Adventure Sport. They were so nice to uh, send it to me to review it. Thanks again. And. Um, <clears throat> Then they came out with the 10.0 uh, Ultra and this Cyclops Adventure Sports 10.0 Ultra headlight bulb is amazing. I mean it's badass. It looks nice, the color is really nice on that, uh, on that headlight bulb. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna pull to the side in a little bit and I'm gonna walk around my uh, bike one more time to show you how nice it looks like. So uh, to talk a little bit one more time about the uh, headlight itself, uh, the headlight bulb. 
so it's a H4 connector so it's basically plug and play you know there is no complicated installation or anything like that you just pop out your uh, your headlight uh, ring or bucket whatever it is okay, let me make a right here and you basically you pull out the H4 connector and then you um, plug the new H4 connector back in very simple all right let me make a let me make a u-turn here and i'm going to show you one more time uh, the color of the light itself all right so i'm off the bike now <coughs> that's how the light looks like it's a nice and uh, white color it's not bluish or anything like this which I like it looks really nice it's definitely a huge upgrade compared to the uh, regular stock lights which are yellow you know and um, as you can see the beam pattern is pretty dope let's put the high beam on one more time yeah See how I have it adjusted, so right now it's on low beam, right? And that yellow shield over there, that yellow street sign is uh, not illuminated by the bulb, but if I turn the high beam on, boom, you know, it glows like a candle almost. <laughs> See that? Pretty dope. And like I said, I think the color is either, I think the color is 5600. And here's one more time the beam pattern I think it's great anyways let's uh, let's go back by the way if you are new to this channel and you like what you see you know you see any value in it please hit the subscribe button you know make sure you click on the bell button as well so you are reminded um, you know anytime I post a new video and stuff How you like this? Uh, how you like this light? Comment below. You know, tell me what what kind of light you run. Maybe you run something else which is brighter or or just as good. I would like to know because I want to know what other options are out there to all of us. Anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in, like I said, hit that subscribe button, <clears throat> if you haven't yet, tell me what are your opinions on this 10.0 uh, Ultra from Cyclops Adventure Sports, I'm very happy that they exist, I'm very happy that they make a headlight, a headlight bulb like this for, for motorcycle riders, and very affordable and with really good quality, love it, and um, yeah, comment below. <clears throat> And I would say I see you guys in the next one. It's your boy GD Warrior. Ride safe. And don't forget, don't fucking die. <laughs>